Hi everyone, I'm Lori Halloway of the Meticulous Manicures Nail Tutorials where I'm setting a new standard in nail education, utilizing real life, real situations for real learning. And today I'm going to teach you how to prevent your acrylic bead from falling off your brush. So stay tuned. Don't forget to follow the Meticulous Manicurist on your social media sites and click that subscribe button to know when I upload the next video. First let's talk for a second about brushes. As a brush gets more use, it's going to become out of shape. Um, it gets dehydrated, uh, the bristles start to kind of fan out, get fuzzy. Take this one for example, you can see the bristles hanging off the outside. Um, they get like real puffy. They aren't nice and tight like they came. Like this is a new brush. Everything's still nice and tight into a point. It, it does still have a tiny bit of monomer in it because I just finished using it, but you can see this one. Let's make sure these are in focus. You can see it really good. See how puffed out the bristles are? When you pick up a brush and you fill it with liquid and the bristles are still kind of puffed out and they aren't tapered together, um, it gives the liquid an escape route. It comes out of your brush very, very quickly. So if I put this into my liquid and you can see whoop, the liquid runs straight up the brush and even if I tap a little bit of it off the bristles are still open they aren't tapered together they aren't tight so if I go to pick up a bead of acrylic and lift it up it gets very heavy and it's I mean I'm holding it over top but you can see I just didn't have enough liquid in my brush to have it fall off immediately. If I have a lot of liquid in my brush, you pick up the bead and by the time you get it over to the nail and you're like, why is it so runny? I'm picking up the same amount of liquid as I always do. You have to close those bristles down. So even after you fill up your brush with liquid, it goes all the way up to the top, you need to pat some out and you need to get your bristles more closed into a point. So see how it's tapered down? Then when you pick up your bead of acrylic, not so much of the liquid can run out. It's actually being absorbed into the powder. So then it's, you know, it can stay. It's nice and tight. So once the right amount of liquid goes into the powder, then it kind of just stops and the rest of that liquid stays in the bristles. So I'll show you again. If I, even if I pat off some of the acrylic, if I don't taper them down and see how they're kind of like, you know, like brushed out or, you know, pluffed, plumped out. If I pick up a bead of acrylic, and I just hold it here for a second and of course it's not going to do it for me but see how now it's starting to drip down because more acrylic liquid is still able to get out and down into the powder it's just drying very quickly on my bristles because I have a fan blowing on me right now but you can see that it's still the liquid is still trying to get out because when the the brush bristles are closed into a point. If I pick up a bead, even a bigger bead, and I hold it into place, it doesn't, it doesn't start to drip or droop down. So when you lose beads and balls of acrylic into your powder, that's why. It's because the ends of your bristles are, you know, what's the good what good word? I don't know. Uh, just fanned out. They need to be nice and tapered. 
like this. So I'll show you another brush. See how this one, it's got these bristles. So we'll absorb some liquid. See how the liquid went straight up? And I'll pat some of that off. See how it fell right off? Because too much liquid was escaping down the length of those hairs. So now, you know, before I was removing the liquid by just pressing up here at the top of the brush. Now I'm going to run it all the way to the tip and see how some of that liquid came out. So then it's nice and flat. The bristles are nice and flattened. So then when the liquid goes into the powder, you know, once it's absorbed the right amount, it stops because those bristles are closed. It's not letting all of this liquid that's up here in the bristles flood down into the acrylic powder. So let's fill up the brush. See how it's nice and plump. And sometimes you're just not paying attention. You're in a hurry. You know, you put the liquid in. You thought you brushed some off. You pick up a ball. And by the time you reach over to put it on the client's nails, you've dropped it someplace. It's fallen off. And that's because your bristles weren't closed. So I hope you guys learned something today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so for lots more educational videos. Thanks. Have a great day. So I demonstrated how on an older brush it could be very easy to have that happen, especially at the very beginning when you first pick up a brush, but this is a brand new brush and the bristles are still all nice and tight. Um, but it can happen with this too. If you fill a brush and it's nice and full and plump of liquid and then you don't pick up a big enough ball of, of or enough powder or leave the brush in so the liquid absorbs into the powder to pick up the right size ball. So I'm going to pick up just a small ball and now there's too much liquid in the brush that see how it's starting to run down and drip? That's too wet and it's going to fall off. So if I only wanted to pick up a small bead of acrylic, I'm going to need to brush off each side of the brush. Make sure that my bristles are nice and, um, you know, pinched together. So when I pick up a bead, nothing else floods down the bristle brushes and goes into the powder. Even if I, you know, hold it like this, it's not gonna come off. Here are some other great videos for you to check out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.